What's up guys, once again this is Mike from Gaming Head here to show you guys how to beat the Taste Like Chicken case on Dead Rising 2. Uh, this one can be probably the most annoying one uh, considering the fact that the chef can regenerate his health by going to the tables or the uh, to the stove in the kitchen. And uh, basically what you want to do is, uh, it's a little bit of a cat and mouse game. Uh, he'll chase you around, just try and avoid him. Uh, until he uh, he goes to try and regenerate his health and um, I brought guns with me you don't necessarily have to do that but I start just uh, taking down his health little by little every time he tries to go and uh, get something to eat and um, just run around the kitchen and avoid him Uh, like I said in my other guides, uh, what you want to do in Dead Rising is always have something to eat or drink to regenerate your health with you at all times. Um, you never know what's going to happen. And definitely uh, in this fight, uh, this one can be a little challenging. So you do want to bring uh, like a piece of steak or a piece of chicken. There's actually a lot of restaurants uh, in the food court that you're currently in. And you can pick up some stuff on the way to this case. Uh, when you shoot at the chef when he's eating, um, just do one quick burst because he starts to block with the pan. Uh, everything after that you're going to waste your ammo, so there's no point in, in shooting him more than one time. If he does get close enough to you to swing at you, uh, it's really easy to avoid. Just jump out of the way at the last second. Although he's a lot faster than you, uh, it, it's just really easy to get away from him. As you can see at this point, I uh, don't have any more ammo, so i got to figure out a different way to, to kill him. And you'll see he runs the same route every time uh, to get to each table or to get to the stove. Um, to regenerate his health. You can get uh, at least two hits in. Uh, if you're lucky, you can get three. Uh, what you want to do, if you're going to try and get the third hit in, is swing twice, and right before you swing the third time, turn around and start to move away. And as you can see, every once in a while, you'll, you'll swing your bat back far enough to hit him, and most of the time, you'll actually get away. He, he won't even uh, knock you down. Uh, another thing is sometimes you'll get lucky and zombies will come into the restaurant and uh, actually distract him for you. Right there, see I got three swings in and he didn't even get to hit me, uh, except uh, with the toss. Usually when you know he's going to toss, you want to run uh, laterally in relation to uh, where he is and jump. Instead of uh, trying to do a back and forth or running uh, away from him. Yeah, you can see I use the uh, island in the kitchen basically to avoid him and avoid the knives and the plates and the pans that he throws. Yeah, you want to waste as little time trying to chase him down, so kind of start to head him off when you see that he's uh, running towards uh, one of the pots or plates that has food in it. Every once in a while when you get close enough, he'll stop and start swinging at you. But as long as you, uh, you know, just start swinging back, the bat with the uh, spikes is actually probably the most effective thing. And there you go.